everybody. Well, I got good news and I got bad news. The bad news is I have a bad back and I threw my back out a couple of days. So where I originally wanted to go, there's no way that I was going to be able to do it. Um, we're in a back brace right now. So well, the good news is, is that where I wanted to go and where I'm at now is really not that far. So I can partially get there. I may, may, I may not be able to see all the things I want to see. I found this campground. So, and I looked at the map. And I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm like right down the down the road. I really, it's it really feels good to walk, but sitting long, standing long, I'm in quite a lot of pain. So I got my setup here, and I changed a couple of things because. I noticed too, it was too cramped in the back and that's what probably everybody thought. So what I'll do is um, later on, I'll give you a walk around of what I did and I got tons of room now. So um, that's a good thing. And I got some really awesome food. I'm gonna cook some ribs. I'm gonna have some steak. You know, I'm gonna have all kind of goodies. So I'm gonna spend two days out here. It is so peaceful and nice and cool. It's probably about 76 which is perfect weather. So let me get things started and I'll get back with you guys in a few. guys were really nice enough to move this table over here for me um, it was way down there um, I did bring some wood um, so what I did here is zip, unzip this and you see the difference now uh, that cooler will come out um, I'll set the cooler out there's no bears out right now um, as you can see, how much more room did I have? This mattress right here, I used it for winter camping, but since I got the cot now. So that's the back and a lot of room. I got little wood shavings on there. That's a cabin right there, but nobody's in it. So yeah, this is, this is an RV site, but um, I couldn't hike down with a tent, so I picked this site. So this cooler will come out and that will give me even more room. So I'm utilizing behind both seats. It's my fan light. This is great. Put my backpack in the driver's side. Put all the totes right there. They all fit perfectly. That's a lot more room that I'm getting. So the picnic table was uh, <laughs> down there. And down there below is a gorge. So I didn't think it was uh, a good idea to go down there. Uh, and this one was on a incline. So um, he told me where I can use another fire pit, level ground, and uh, cook some food. It is awesome out here. I mean, it's just so quiet, peaceful. Over there is where, you see my tripod, because I'm using my Dutch oven, and I will cook from over there, because it's nice and level. Come over here and eat. So, we'll walk down these roads here. There's an overlook over there that overlooks the gorge, where I originally was gonna hike down to. Uh, unfortunately, there's supposed to be two waterfalls. They are dried up, so. That kind of bites too, but it's beautiful out here and it's peaceful and got two days of rest and relaxation. Hopefully my back gets better. Okay, so what we have here is a rack of St. Louis style spare ribs and a rack of baby back. Now I'm not gonna eat all this tonight. I figure I will just take half of it, probably more than half of it home. So first thing we're gonna do is take that 
back part off because it is very chewy. So now that that is done, what we're going to do is... So what we're going to do is, normally you want to put apple juice. However, you know, keto, that is not possible. Because I don't know if it cooks it out. So I use a combination of beef broth and water. And we put the ribs in there. Now, it's going to be a tight fit, but um, it'll cook. I've done this a long time ago, I believe. So as you can see, it is a tight fit. However, midway, I flip them. So it's the spare ribs, spare ribs that are the biggest. So let's get them on the tripod. Put a tripod here. Just gonna boil over. Oh, well, it did. Let's pour a little bit of it out. After my back is killing me now. Okay, flip them over. About 20 minutes. It's about 45 minutes total. You want to boil them and then you want to put them on the hook. Okay, well, we got them off. And uh, now we're going to season them and put them uh, on the grill. So, come on, B. Leave me alone. I got the wrong, wrong one. You know, I'm gonna kill you, B. So we're just using some, uh, the gospel. This stuff is so good. Flip them over, do the same thing. I forgot my thing to put the sauce on the ribs. Uh, my UMG Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce, hickory flavor, it is so good. So I'm going to have to try to devise a way to spread the sauce on the ribs. So let's get them on the grill. So this is something I picked up at Sportsman Warehouse. It's a grill rack. Um, I do have to get that fire down a little bit because I only want to cook it on the coals. So we got to cook this for probably about 45 minutes. Get some sauce on there and we're going to chow down. There we go. Two and a half hours later. That was a labor of love. Let's taste. All mine. Mm -mm -mm. These are the St. Louis style. Oh boy, I'm going to make a mess here. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Very looking good. Let's try a baby back. Probably look a mess, don't I? Mm. Okay. I need a bath now. Mmm. We're so good. Light. 
I can't adjust. There we go. Yeah. A little bit. I feel like Blair Witch Project right now. Anyhow, it's time to tuck it in. Uh, I don't want to keep this light on too long because the bugs will come in here. But it's scary movie night tonight. I have no idea what I'm going to watch. But I'm going to watch something. So I'll see you guys in the morning. my keto coffee I'm just gonna show you guys how to make it unfortunately I forgot my butter so I do have some ghee don't get grossed out it's fine it's actually a little healthier than butter so I'm gonna put that in there I'm gonna be using this Cisco cafe um, random adventures turned me on to that and it is so convenient and it's so good so now we are going to have some olive oil. I'm sorry, coconut oil. That would really gross me out, olive oil in here. <laughs> so we're going to put probably a teaspoon in there. We're going to use some monk fruit sugar. I'm going to use two packets since I have my uh, big Yeti here. And we're going to use some heavy whipping cream. I maybe put just a little bit too much. Now we want to mix all that together. That's what it's going to look like. Maybe too much, too much cream, but hey, can't have enough cream. That's called bulletproof coffee. Let me tell you, it keeps you. Full. It has energy and it's healthy actually. So let's get the water going. So coffee is done and good morning everybody. Oh that's so good. Love my bulletproof coffee. It really does give you a lot of energy. Boy it rained really hard last night. A lot of wind but boy the tent stood right up. Um, my makeshift tarp, total fail. So, it's actually probably a foot too wide. So, I tried many ways to strap it down and it didn't work. So, I just kind of laid it on top of everything uh, to keep it dry, my wood and stuff. So, I'm going to drink my coffee. Um, oh, real quick. Um. If you are on keto and you do crave some fruit, star fruit. It is the lowest carbs besides blackberries and raspberries that you can eat. So I'm actually going to have one of these. And I just eat it whole. Um, cut the brown part off, of course. Mmm. It's so juicy. They're hard to find, though. Um. I found them at Wegmans, um, so if you get a chance and you want some fruit, um, star fruit, blackberries, and raspberries. So after we finish our coffee, we're going to do some walking. Still got the back brace on, but my back does feel a little bit better. So I will see you guys a little later. I hope this is a trail. shooting. Is it hunting season?
disappointed tent. They give you a little buggy. These cabins are really nice. I haven't gone in one. This is the restroom. I have to show you this because it's so nice and clean. It smells like fresh wood. So it was just built. Got a real sink and actually a real flushing toilet. It's so, it's like immaculate for a campground. Now this car, now it is kind of far away from, uh, my location, but they got Porter Jones along the way. I almost dropped and fell. So let's keep on seeing what we can see around here. I think that is a. So here's a picnic pavilion with a couple of grills. That's pretty cool. And you know what? <laughs> they need to stop shooting. There's a possibility they may miss. Uh, made it back alive. Now I can make this video. <laughs> Ooh. So tonight we are going to have this juicy steak with mushrooms and onions. And this morning I actually pulled out the beef towel for my coffee, because this is ghee. If you don't like rare, turn around. This thing is huge. Yes, it is. It's actually medium rare, but that's okay. I'll take medium rare. Mmm, so tender. Mmm, mmm, mmm. No words. Yes, they're still shooting. So, I hope when it gets dark, they decide to uh, stop. You're wondering why I have so many clothes on. It got cold today. No sun. So, I am stuffed from my steak. I didn't eat it all, though. Oh, this heat feels good. And I'm about ready to fall. Whoa. Okay. It's not even. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this heat. And if you guys didn't see the movie Megan, it is a great movie. I mean, I, I thought that I'm not going to like this, but uh, it was good. So get a chance, check it out. So now it's nighttime. I'm going to show you exactly Shirley's flashlight she sent me. You can see it will look good now.
I heard something in the woods. everybody well I am like a hot cup of coffee on a chilly morning it actually got really chilly last night but that mattress oh my gosh that mattress is phenomenal I mean it's nothing big and extravagant but I slept like a rock I didn't even want to get up today um, but it's it's been a enjoyable two days peaceful now the Sun decided to come out today it was an hour all day yesterday but it's still been peaceful today. No more shooting. It actually stopped about, I say, 7 o'clock last night. So I really enjoyed my time here. I wish I could have did more, but with my back. My back actually feels better. And I don't know if it's the mattress or what, but I actually took the brace off this morning. So on that note, me and Sassy are going to pack up. Well, actually me sassy just kind of sits there and protects me so if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you hit that subscribe button give me a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video ciao